So today we are starting the fifth session, working with shape files. So working with shape files, this session or this module consists of nine videos or more. So this is just like a guide. So as we proceed, uh, I would like to say like as the spirit leads. So we're going to continue with this session, and we're starting with this first video, um, how to use statistics. All right, so let's head to ArcMap, which is the software we're going to be using. So if your ArcMap isn't launched, you edit search, or if you have it on there, you can just search AR, and then you see an ArcMap. I'm using ArcMap 10.8.2. So you just click on it and launch. Mine is already launched. And like I said, I said we'll be trying to bring in uh, images or anything we want to import every time so that you know how to import as far as your photo this video do i have it already but i'm still going to import it so if you want to remove anything from the interface you just right click and remove so i'm going to click on this plus sign and i'm going to navigate to the folder and i'm going to bring in this file i removed so is called Taraba Neo Printing. So that's it. So we're starting with the statistics, how to use statistics, and uh, this statistics is in attribute tables. So you right click, and once you right click, you go open attribute table. So once you open attribute table, now before we get into this, I would like to shed some light because most of the times these videos you cannot really interrelate with us again after we've uploaded the video. So uh, I would like to make some things clear. If you want to use statistics, there are data types or data format you shouldn't use. Now I'm going to look at here. Now if you want to use statistics, you have to right click on any of this. All right, that's how you get statistics. But then take a look at, let's start with the FID. If I right click on FID, you see the statistics is not turned on. Field calculator, geometry are not turned on. Let's go to shape. You see the statistics is not turned on. Let's go to object ID. Statistics is turned on. Okay. Let's go to name. Statistics is not turned on. Let's go to this headquarter. Statistics is not turned on. Let's go to geopolitical zone. Statistics is not turned on. What about here? Statistics is on on shape. And area statistics is on and then this population the first population here if you look at it statistics is not turned on then area is on or enabled all of these have it in one now look at the second population statistics is enabled and why do you think statistics is not enabled now let's look at this first population you right click and then go to properties now on properties, the type of the file is stream. So anywhere you see stream, if you look at this one too, properties is what? Stream. Look at your political. So all those ones that are not turned on, you see that they are stream. See that they are. This one, the type is object ID. So these are the few. This one is geometry. These are the few ones that, if you use them, your statistics will not be enabled. All right, now that we know that, you right click on a population and then you click on statistics. Now we just want statistics just to give us the statistics of what is available on that. We have count. Now, how many are they? The total count on the population. Okay, if you've Turn on this from the statistics area. You can now the field. You can now switch to any field you want to use from here. But if you look at on this field, uh, object ID and just few are showing. The rest are not showing. So because of that format, I took out the file type or the data type. So on the statistics now we have total number on the population field. Now we have total number of fifteen count. And then we have the minimum population of 10,000 and the maximum population of 100 
and 50. So we have a sum and then we have a mean and then we have a mean division and we don't we have zero null. Alright? So any field you want to switch in from here, you'll be able to see its statistics. Alright. You're going to see the statistics. If you even go to the coordinate, you'll see the statistics. If you go to the area, you'll see the statistics and so on and so forth. So basically, these statistics can help you uh, get some things. And then you see as we switch on there, you see the way the frequency distribution is also changed. So what you do on Excel, you can actually do most of them on ArcGIS. So you see that the, the frequency distribution automatically pops. So you see the population distributed evenly as you change the field. You see that, look at area as well. So area has all of that. So this is how to use statistics on uh, ArcGIS or ArcMap desktop to be precise. So basically this will help you to uh, know the statistics of your data and other things you intend to uh, achieve. So I'll see you in the next video when we are going to proceed more on this session. So for now, stay tuned and bye-bye.